This just in, the Slayers Club just dropped a new Doom Eternal update to preview. I'm going to tell you what you need to know, how it's going to affect you. We're going to talk about a new battle mode map, some things coming forth for the campaign, hints toward the new DLC, so let's dive right in. First of all, a new battle mode map called Torment. It's got this cultist-based industrial-like look. It's a little bit mossy, but wait, look in the background. Does this look familiar? Look at the set pieces, the scenery. What's it remind you of? How about the oil rig based DLC picture that we saw before in the first reveal? This could be a hint to new lands just like it did with hints in Doom Eternal Architecture back in 2016 multiplayer. So this gives us another look at what this new DLC is going to look like in terms of levels both in the campaign and in battle mode. So the map here has tight corridors, it's going to benefit demons there, the mobility for the slayer through the jump pad and the monkey bars but he can still get caught up with traps that the demons are going to lay at the various spots. It's been cleverly designed to be tricky on both ends. Close quarters, tight combat, and an actual ceiling. Think about how many battle mode maps out there right now, out in the main open area, not little alcoves, have a ceiling to them indoors. That's going to change the dynamic having that height cap. So I wonder, how is that going to affect the pain elemental, not having that free roam mobility in the sky? Or the Slayer, when he's flying around, he's going to have that cap as well. For the meat hook or for jump pads, any way he goes around. Hugo has allegedly said this is his favorite battle mode map from what I understand, so I'm curious to see it in action and how it reflects on the campaign. Now we also get some standard improvements and fixes in battle mode. There is a latency improvement that they've mentioned. That has been a long time coming. A lot of people have been looking forward to that. You get separate custom keybinds for each demon, so you don't have to share anymore between your Archfile, Pain Elemental, Revenant, Marauder, Mancubus, and whenever they bring out that new demon, whenever that's going to be, hopefully soon. So also the campaign has a little bit of extra touches to it. We're going to have more info later this month. I will be covering it as well as soon as it comes out. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it so I can keep you up to date. There's going to be some different quality of life improvements as well. Increasing the number of empowered demons per map. Yes! In the campaign we're going to talk about the potential ups and downs. How it's going to affect gameplay. The extra ammo and supplies to give. Is this good? Is it bad? Will it make it easier in ways? I think it will, but I also think it's going to add an extra little touch. I'm going to talk about all that then too. Also quality of life improvements for colorblind folks, which is really nice that the accessibility options are expanding even greater than they are already, and a better user interface for boosters on top of all this. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you learned something today and you want to keep up to date with everything that's going on. I'll be back with more whenever we get the information later this month. I'm Austin. Thank you for watching.